Immersed Robot. Hello everyone, welcome to Immersed Robot. So I just wanted to take a quick look at Robinson the Journey. This is a very old game now for VR. It originally came out on PlayStation VR back in probably 2016, 2017. Um, but it did get released on the PC eventually. So that's the version I'm playing here on my Valve Index. And I just wanted to take a look at it because it's one of the best looking games in VR. It looks absolutely incredible with what I've got going on here. And of course you can see that I've got FPS VR running at the bottom of the screen there, just so we can get an idea of how well it's performing and it's running really well um, and I'll go into my settings just so you can see those in a second but um, you can see that I'm running Steam VR Super Sampling at 150% and we're running at a rock solid 90 FPS in this game uh, which is uh, stunning uh, the way it looks at the moment um, but let's go into settings just so you can see what I'm running here uh, okay so graphics and so I've got basically got the highest possible settings going here so we've got the resolution scale at 2.0 uh, that's the maximum it will go up to shadow quality high I don't think it will go up to ultra no SSDO quality high and anti-aliasing I have got off but we can put that on to temporal if we want to I prefer it being off actually we do get a slight blurring effect with the uh, temporal anti-aliasing and then distant object quality very high so that's on sort of the maximum possible settings we can have in this game let's get back into it and so you can see that um, it's running really well, 90 FPS. That uh, temporal anti-aliasing looks like it has added a little bit onto the frame timings. And in my opinion, it doesn't look quite so good. There's a little bit more blur, especially on distant objects. Some people might like it rather than the shimmering you get without an, any anti-aliasing whatsoever. But uh, personally, I, I prefer a slightly sharper image. Um, but yeah, absolutely stunning game. Um, you know, it's not really action-packed or anything, it's quite a slow, plodding, methodical game, but there's a lot of enjoyment to be had from it. I've uh, played through quite a lot on PlayStation VR when it first came out, but I've not played through the entire game, and I've only progressed a very small amount on PC. This is actually a new save, I've started a new save just to show you here. Uh, we are getting a few drop frames there. I'm not too sure what that's about, but um, overall we are getting a relatively consistent 90. I'm running at GPU frame time around 8.1, around the 8 millisecond mark anyway. So we might be able to push that up to 120 hertz in the valve index just to get a slightly higher frame rate. So let me give that a try now. Okay, so trying 120 frames per second in the Valve Index on these maximum settings, um, it doesn't like it's able to maintain it all the time. We are getting it okay there, and then it will drop down again. However, I am still running with that Temporal Anti-Aliasing, so let's just take a quick look if we can turn that off. Okay, it looks like we've dropped down now to around the 7 millisecond frame timing mark, so we should be able to maintain 120. Um, it doesn't look like it's going to be absolutely consistent though, unfortunately. But look at this. The views are spectacular in this game. Of course, it's not really an open world game though, so um, I should make that clear. You can't go anywhere that you see here. And of course, the distant, very distant over there, it's just sort of a, a skybox really that we've got behind, beyond this uh, sort of rendered area here. But you don't really notice that too much and it's very well presented. It looks fantastic. Sorry, I keep saying that, but it really does. Um, what I'll do, I'll drop it back down to 90 hertz in the valve index because that overall was giving me a more consistent experience. And I can 
see a few judges here and there as I wander around this opening area of the game. So let me just drop that back down to 90 and we'll get back into it. Okay, so there we are now back on a rock solid 90 fps just as i say that we do drop a little frame there but that's okay uh, generally it's pretty solid um and you know the experience is very smooth here in the headset on absolute maximum settings with no anti-aliasing which is my preference so really the game is just completing small puzzles to move on to the next area really and um, you do explore quite a few different areas I think there's uh, sort of three larger areas when you get out of this main section to explore I'm not too sure exactly how long the game is um, but you know there's quite a decent experience here all in all um, and again it's one that you can sort of plod through do a few puzzles and just in enjoy the scenery for the most part um, that's your little helper robot there that's floating around in front of you Shoo! go away why won't you listen to me so he'll help you help guide you through the experience overall um, just to keep you on track with your tasks and stuff Again, you can see that the, the movement that I'm making here is relatively slow, but that's just the kind of game it is. I would recommend this, actually, for people if you like this kind of uh, sort of environmental uh, puzzler in VR, especially with something that uh, looks as good as this. And just exploring this alien world this is an alien world you've crash landed on here Wouldn't it be tragic if after all this time you and it's just about surviving really playing through this narrative um, but yeah that was just a very quick look at Robinson the journey it probably won't interest too many people because it is an older game now but um, as you can see for a game that was very demanding when it was first released it runs fantastic on a high-end system now um, so yeah if you, you want to jump back in let me know what you think but thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you next time if you'd like to support the channel then there are numerous ways to do so listed in the description like heading over to the merch store and picking up an immersed robot mug or any other item arbitrarily featuring the channel logo as always link is in the description to this video Thank you.